All right, so we're talking what? with Tenzin Sherpa. Yes. Who is the owner of Himalayan Bites. Um, and we're, we just have a few questions. Um, first of all, how did you end up in Oregon? Oh, well, my cousins have been living here for the last 25 to 30 years. So, you know, and I was in Nepal and I was just like telling them about coming to America and they were like, Bend is not a bad place to be, you know, and so I decided to kind of come here and check it out, and here I am now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, are there similarities between life in Oregon and life in Kathmandu? Oh, well, life in Kathmandu, I mean, Kathmandu being the city of Nepal, yeah. I mean, it, you know, it is, well, I would say there is a lot of simil simil <laughs> <laughs> similarities uh, between, um, Nepal and Oregon, you know, like Nepal being kind of green country because yeah. like eighty percent of the whole land is covered with forests and stuff. So, and it does have like high deserts and stuff like that. So and mountains too. So, I would say fifty percent, fifty to sixty percent of the whole population does kind do have similar features yeah. in comparison to Oregon. Um, how does the hiking in Oregon compare to hiking in the Himalayas? <laughs> oh, well, hiking in Himalayas, you know, you are just above the sea level, but hiking is hiking. I think, yeah. you know, that's just, the, that's just <laughs> <laughs> the way it is. I mean, you're just hiking up in higher altitude, so, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, how is the cuisine of Tibet, Nepal, and Bhutan different from other Asian cuisine that people might have tried? Oh, well, like, uh, I mean, Tibet and Nepal being, you know, kind of in higher altitude in comparison to India. And I mean, like, you know, it's a different whole area here in America. So I think people up in colder area tend to eat more fats, mm -hmm. you know, just to keep themselves warmer and more chili and spices. So I think that's that's like major difference. Other than that, that it's same ingredients, salt, pepper and spices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you learn to cook? Uh, well, uh, my grandma, she used to own a restaurant back home in Nepal, in, in Kathmandu. And as growing up with her, you know, I kind of learned her secrets from her. So it was my grandma who inspired me, I would say. Cool. Um, can you teach us how to create a Himalayan spice profile for home cooking? Oh, well, uh, the major ingredients that I use for like cooking is like especially ginger and it has many good benefits you know for your body ginger garlic mm -hmm. and turmeric those are my main ingredients that I use on regular basis on, and on every dish that I make so all these properties I think it's not, not just like you know makes the food tasty but it also has good benefits for you yeah it's delicious for sure um, is there a recipe that you can share for our home chefs? Oh, well, I don't know, man. Everybody has their own kind of recipes. And when I really think hard in giving out a recipe, it's like, you know, if you cook with your heart and put your soul in it, mm -hmm. no matter what you cook, it's just going to come out awesome. And, you know, people will just like, you know, it, it's like you heal the soul with the food. So, you know, you got to cook with the soul. That's what I believe in. Yeah. True. Um, what are your plans for the future? Oh well, I don't have big plans. Like you know, uh, so for so far, like you know, the food court is kind of running, and uh, which I'm happy for. But later down the road, if it, it really works out and it works out fine, I we as a family from Sherpa family, we we are planning to open a restaurant here in town. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to say? Oh, uh, well, I would just say like, you know, uh, we are here in Bend and we are kind of new in town as in business. So I just want to let people know that we are here and it's one of a kind of a food and I would love everybody to come and try our food.